So in the film, there's a zombie who goes up the escalator here, and he does it very dramatic. He's all like, He fits in with all the Pittsburgh people here, man. When there's no room in hell, the dead will walk the Monroeville Mall. Hi everybody and welcome to the world of Micah. Behind me is the Monroeville Mall from 1978's Dawn of the Dead, George Romero's classic. I've always wanted to go in this mall. There have been countless of events here. They do after hour tours. There's actually a Living Dead Museum inside which we are gonna check out. But I just wanted to go in this mall, showcase a few scenes from that movie that I love, you love. Millions of people have done filming locations for this. I'm not reinventing the wheel here. I just want to put my spin on it. Now, let's take a closer look. And right here, where we are starting, a lot of action took place. This is where they, they pull up the trucks right here. This is where Savini and the motorcycle gang come up. Dude, there's so many scenes right here, Mike. So cool. Let's match up some stuff. Even the light pole kind of looks the same. It has been changed, but who would have thought a light pole in a mall parking lot would be iconic? This is like the best I can line it up because where we are standing, Mike, is where the camera was looking. The camera was up on top of that roof up there. But this is one of the shots right here. Awesome. And the hill is the same. We're gonna go back down that hill. We climbed that hill, by the way. <laughs> We're gonna go back down that hill because a lot of zombie action happened on this side of the Monroeville Mall. Oh my gosh, this is my first time really seeing all this over here. So many zombies. We're right down there. Let's go. Right here, the zombies can be seen messing with the car. There's a whole bunch of them hanging out here in this area, trying to get in here. Through this entrance, this is the entrance that they tried to lock up. You see so many zombies just trying to get in. We're in the mall. From this angle right here, looks just like the movie. Let's match up some stuff. And where Mike is standing, there was the big zombie standing right there, trying to, to break in. Yeah, this is where they're like running up and trying to like lock these doors, trying to lock them all so the, the, the walking dead can't get in. This is so cool. This is also where Savini's team breaks in and they're riding the motorcycles into the mall here. And we're about to go over where the fountain used to be and there's a George Romero bust over there now. And yes, this mall does accept the fact that a zombie movie was filmed here. They embrace it. I can't believe we're in, Mike. This is so cool. We're in. Dude, this is... It smells it's zombie. like zombie, and this this wall just feels like zombie Dawn of the Dead, the 1978 classic. In a mall, dude. Tom Savini in a motorcycle here. That's amazing. By the way, there's the the layout of the Monroeville Mall. This Forever 21 area, the Cinemark, that's where the JC Pennies used to be. We're gonna match up some stuff there. All kinds of stuff in the center here. Let's go have some fun. All right, now this Annie Ann's area right here used to be the staircase going up. You can see this pole and the zombies all walking around in this area. Being in here, it looks similar with the lighting and the vibes in here, but it also looks completely different in a way. Man, I can't believe it. We're in the Monroeville Mall. They got this hallway open here. It does look like the movie. This marble is the same marble, but that's not a hallway that was used in the film as far as I know. Our spot we're going to is right up here, the famous escalator that the zombie goes up. So in the film, there's a zombie who goes up the escalator here and he does it very dramatic. He's all like, ah, 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 ah. He 
fits in with all the Pittsburgh people here, man. So the food court here, this used to be the skating rink. This was the ice skating rink down here. Several scenes were filmed here. And legend has it, I've heard from several people that they actually just put this all over the top of the ice skating rink. Like it's still down underneath here. This is crazy. All of this used to be where you could ice skate. It's completely different since 1978, but still has the same vibe. And there he is, George. Thanks for the movie, man. Look at this nice plaque they have here. You guys can pause that if you'd like to read it and learn some more history. Winter of 1970-78, Dawn of the Dead, filmed in Monroeville Mall. And we're also going right up there to the Living Dead Museum. All right, now we've got to go up an escalator here. See you, George. Got to match up some more stuff. Right here is where the, the motorcycle scene took place with the, the old fountain there, and they later added this but down there, that was the, the water fountain. So imagine motorcycles, Savini's crew, all down there. So right here in the film, this was J.C. Penney. Imagine a glass door here, all the doors, all these zombies trying to get in. And he goes over and puts a gun right here against this pole here when he's trying to get in. And the camera is also turned around right here and it zooms in on some zombies standing right there at that escalator. This right here is the famous hallway from the film. Oh wow, look at these. Old Monroeville Mall. Yeah, what year? Usually says it, you know. This one had the, the date, 79, the year after. That's right. No zombies in 79, just Santa Claus. <laughs> Down here is the door. Store Wars. Wars, wow. <gasps> yeah, this is it, right down here. This is where Ken Forey and Flyboy, the whole gang, stayed right past the men's restroom. That's the door. Right there. So yeah, the men's restroom right there, and the door. A lot of action took place right here. You can see this same angle in these two doors in the film as well. Down here on the left, where the Coca-Cola, there used to be a whole wall of telephones. Those obviously have gone away in time, but we're gonna match it up. Yeah, like the guessing your weight and all that was here and then all down here were the phones. And the shot kind of looked like this. You can see Flyboy walking across here, and that right over there was the Grand Marquis. They come running out of this hallway here, and they're both up against the marble, and it still looks the same since 1978. There's a close-up shot of them here on both sides. Pretty cool, so much action happened down this hallway. This is where they're running. I believe the Brown Derby was like around here. They're running around this side because they're trying to get over to the JC Pennies. Also in the film, Tom Savini was standing right here next to this marble. And this is where he leaped up in the air and took the machete to the zombie. And right here, this would have been where Boom, he came down on the head with the machete. And something you can see outside of the museum is the motorcycle from the film. And there's a shot. Guys blasting around with the motorcycle in the sidecar. All right, let's do this. Head inside the Living Dead Museum. Here we go. Oh my gosh, I've been wanting to see this 
for quite some time. Got some zombie action here. Look at all these autographs. Living Dead Weekend, Heaven City. So cool, man. Some making of the Dawn of the Dead here. That's so cool. Look at that fly boy there. Dang. This is everything my living dead. I just went to where you were, buddy. Wow. You guys can pause this so you can read it. Oh, they have uh, each. Image 10. That was his company that uh, George Romero started. This is so cool. A lot of stuff to take. I didn't know this. Monster Flick. That's great. Monster Flick. That's pretty awesome. I know. These are production used. Wow. There's his belt, dude. Belt right there. And the sheriff. That's it. There's a letter confirming it. Look at that. Preview of the Living Dead. High Living Dead. Two minutes. 1968. There's more. Little knickknacks all through here, man. This is just like the radio. He's down there like... Listen. Wow, look at that. That's so cool. And they're set up right there in front of the, the chapel. We were just there, Mike. Dang. I think that's exactly where we parked. Everyone helped out. There's Johnny. Hallway here filled with posters and memorabilia. If you head inside here, this is a piece of the Evil Dead work shed here. What's left of it. This thing traveled for a while. They would have it on display at different conventions and everything. This is some, the fireplace foam stones. They're not real. And then that's the interior hall door of the cabin. Look at this. It's just like the, the tape player they have in the movie and some of the pages of the Necronomicon. There's an interior hall door. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, these are prop alikes. Okay, so these are not actual props. They're just look-alikes, but these are real. This is Evil Dead 2, window and shutters. Dude, look at this. The cabin doors here. Look at that, the walk, the tree. That's insane. This is a lot of entertainment for $8. <laughs> now my friend Adam from the Daily Woo has a poster just like this signed. And his is, if not just as complete, maybe more complete than this. This is crazy. I always like to look and see who signed where. You know, a lot of... <laughs> I died at the Monroeville Mall. Flyboy right there, dude. Yeah, biker. There's Ken Forey up there. Helicopter zombie up there. They stuck a screwdriver in my ear. <laughs> okay, so helicopter zombie, he recreated his uh, his shot, this was actually where we just were over at the Creep Show house in my other episode. And this is the, the costume he wore in that. The appliance there, because it cuts the top of his head off. And that's him wearing it. Look at that. A lot of different versions. A zombie. What do we have here? Oh man, there's George. These are screen used JCPenney fire signs. They went in and just took them. This JCPenney alarm bell, Iron City beer, some spam. There's some arms and legs. Look at that, you can see the, the blood that would be pumped through, you know? Look at that, the ice skating rink. 
the original soundtrack. These are ceiling lights. There's a VHS down there. What is this? There's a check motion picture laboratory. Tom Savini's cutout machete right there. That's so cool. We saw where that was filmed. Signed by Tom Savini. We've got the rooftop shootout, the vest, the jacket, the motorcycle boots, SWAT team rifle, SWAT team rifle, turtleneck jersey, gas mask. All of this screen used. Boots. Man. It's a prop alike there. And Flyboy when he was heading down the hallway. Now check this out. Everyone knows the famous elevator, right? The famous elevator from JCPenney. Well here they have the original elevator. And guess who's in it? Flyboy. That is so cool. So this is the elevator. They just reconstructed it in here from JCPenney. The one that Flyboy used. The panel, the doors, the ceiling, the rails, the button. I can touch it. Can I touch it? Even the emergency key right there. Oh my gosh. Dude, the escalator. Look at that. I'm gonna slide down. Oh, there, here we go. Look at that, there's the old fountain. Dang. That's so crazy. Oh my gosh, it's a mini model of the whole, of the entire mall. X marks the scene of the crime. Dang, look at those original interior mall fixtures. Dang, Tom Savini signed that one. There's the security era, 1978 is what they would've worn. Dude, these are crazy. That's just so cool. The JCPenney escalator. Yeah, it was removed in 1984. It was the home of the Ice Palace. Hmm. Now it's a food court. So much on the history here. Oh yeah, no such store exists in the mall. That's crazy. So much history in this mall, man. I'm glad these guys did like all the research for this. Now this is from Mind Hunter, not entirely uh, familiar with this at all, but a lot of this stuff is used from that. Oh yeah, Zach and Miri make a porno that was filmed in this mall, as well as Flashdance. But I'm more focused on Dawn. Day of the Dead was filmed in Florida, Mike. That's right. Ooh, here we go. The Crazies. Huh. I didn't know Crazies was filmed. In Evan City. That's crazy. I did not know that. I did not realize that. That's crazy. And this is from Knight Riders. Here, George Romero's Knight Riders. This where's my cake. Oh my gosh. It looks just like the trash can. <laughs> we went over to the creep show house and uh oh look, there's a call sheet. That is cool. I love call sheets. Cause they'll have like what they were filming, where they filmed it. You know, the whole thing. I think some of this was Laurel. Let's see, the Abbott House, Laurel Studios. It's really cool. I love this. Creep Show is so great. And there it is, the opening shot from Day of the Dead. That's cool. Screen used. Oh, there's a little miniature model. Some Dawn of the Dead stuff. Oh, that's cool. There's his cake. He finally got his cake. Night of the Living Dead. What is this? Producer George Romero's Diary of the Dead. This document certifies. This is a collectible. What, what, what is it from? A warehouse zombie jeans worn in movie. Okay. 
Oh man, look at this, the crazy screen used door. And they did their hand and signed it. That's cool. Here's a little filmography of, of George. See, he didn't do Night of the Living Dead until after he did Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, <laughs> which I did know that. I think everyone here worked for Fred Rogers if they were in film in Pittsburgh. This is so good, man. Mike, we've seen this guy at Spooky Empire a lot nice. of times promoting Land of the Dead. I never saw Land of the Dead. Maybe I should check it out because here's some, some props here. It's awesome, man. That dude is pretty big, the main guy there. Big Daddy. Big Daddy. Yeah. He wears his, uh, big his costume. Yeah. <laughs> he wears his costume when he meets you. He's like full costume and like character. It's really cool. Oh, man, there's a, a stub. Look at that. You can see uh, one of these films here at the Monroeville Mall. Now let's see who signed this, the Mall of Fame. Let's see if I can, it's like, I don't know who that is. I thought it was Ken Forey at first, but I've seen his autograph before, it's not it. Dude, there's so many in here. There it is, Ken Forey. I wonder if Savini, he signs everything in here. It's awesome, man. They had some events in the past and they had pretty much everyone who's still around come and sign and do their handprint and they're coming to get you, Barbara. Looks like her hands up here. Let's see. Where is she? She's up here. I'm gonna find, oh, there's Johnny. They're coming to get you, Barbara. Uh -huh. That's so cool. And there's Barbara right there. Help me. Man, is that cool? Oh, did, did George sign yeah. it? Let's see. Did he, say, did he put stay scared? Stay, stay there he is. George Romero's signature, man. Right next to Tom Savini. Say goodbye, creep. I honestly cannot recommend this museum enough, man. Eight bucks for all of this. There's so much to take in. Now this is one of mine and Abby's favorite movies. Tom Atkins is in this. And this is one of the screen used sheriff costumes of Harmony. Look at that. To my Valentine. That is so cool. Wow. I love this movie, man. My brother loves this movie. All right, time to exit to the scariest part of the store. Oh, look at these all signed. I gotta show these first. I was gonna make the, the typical, you know, the gift shop joke, but zombie stopped me. That's so cool, an Image 10 production on the little stills. George, man. Oh, that's the, the nude zombie. Wow. Fly boy there. There he is. Helicopter zombie. Now I've met Scope Zombie before with Adam. I've met Kim Foray before. That's right. George right there at the beginning. That's so cool. So many signatures. Now we're gonna go shop. And make sure you pick up some swag inside here before you leave. I picked up this, the Living Dead Museum shirt, as well as the classic Monroeville Mall shirt right there. I was on the fence about the directory, but I'm glad I went with what I got, man. Got to represent the museum. It's crazy how a lot of this still has like Dawn of the Dead vibes. One a fun time here inside the historic Monroeville Mall. In Monroeville, Pennsylvania. We're making our way out. Just gotta look at this one last time. I can't believe this is it. It looks the same as it did in 1978. I don't know if I'll ever be back, but if I do, it's gonna be one heck of a time. That was, that was a lot of fun. Next time you guys are here in Monroeville, stop into Living Dead Museum, tell them I sent you, 
take it in. It's eight bucks. It's so worth it. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Until then, stay weird. Goodbye. <laughs>